me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I'm not putting on makeup today because I've got an unruly visitor on my face and I just don't want to irritate it. So we're going to talk about makeup and talk about the latest makeup releases. I do this every month but I just, I'm, I feel like for the last year-ish there's been this conversation of just how things are weird in the online beauty community space. When I tell y'all, I feel like I have heard nothing about any latest launch, except maybe one or two that I'm gonna talk about today since the last video that I've done. Like the talk of makeup launching and just makeup in general, I feel like, it's just like where is it? So uh, I'm gonna talk about the things that I saw online and let you know if I would buy them or not. And then let's, let's just have a talk because I, what what do people want now like how do you feel about where we are let's let's just go okay so the first thing i see here mind you i grabbed like everything that i saw because i was like let's talk about this because did y'all know this stuff was coming out i definitely did not but of course the first thing is from ColourPop. it's their new it's a mood 30 pan mega palette launching next week um no no i mean it's giving fall like the colors are appropriate but no, I'm just, just, just scroll by. Not a good start to this. Um, available now, Makeup by Mario's new collection 04 is here, which features the Master Blade Brow Pencil and Master Hold Brow Gel to elevate your brow game. Now, I have not tried anything from Makeup by Mario's makeup line, and I'm kind of tempted to. I've heard good things about that, like bronzer contour stick contour bronzer something stick um their blushes stuff like that so let me know in the comments down below if you want like a video testing out makeup by mario the makeup line um so i'm kind of intrigued by this i usually don't like brow pencils with that type of formula but y'all know i've been loving the charlotte tilbury one tilbury so you know if that changed my mind and this is the brand i want to try i'm kind of intrigued on this one maybe this could be the first thing that i try so right now it's a maybe maybe i would pick uh, this brow one of these brow products up. Okay, which we have here uh, Tarte Cosmetics launched their new man eater cheek lifter blush and it's available as a discounted full-size duo plus free shipping Man eater blush and glow cheek plump is a liquid gel formula that contains known moisturizers to help provide temporary plumper looking skin on the cheeks um, That second color on the on the right has me intrigued Intrigued enough that I was, I was so the duo is $35 with a $50 value knowing that does that make me any more intrigued to try this out no it doesn't but the packaging is cute and I like that color on the right but would I pick this up probably not okay what is this um colored rain's new cream blush is here the shades available are butterfly smooches floral and spicy I let y'all know I like me a good a cream blush the pant size looks like a good size I don't know like compared to the brush that's sitting next to it it looks like it's a good size I just don't like some of these colors there you know I like me a good like neutral blush you know like blush that's pretty close to my skin tone and just kind of blend in type there I do sometimes do pink blush if I was going to pick one of these up it would be the pink one sometimes I like purple but I don't know about that color purple for blush so if I was gonna pick one of these up it would probably be that darker pink one but will I I don't know. I'm on the fence on that one. I'd have to see what other people say about this one. Um, coming soon, Rem Beauty by Ariana Grande is coming soon. When the trademark was filed, it covered cosmetic products like highlighters, lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeliner, concealer, and more as well as hair products. So Ariana Grande, the singer, is coming out with her own beauty line. It's called Rem Beauty. I mean, she'd be hitting when it comes to her fragrance line. So when it does launch, I'm definitely going to check it out. But um for now all we know is the name of the company is rem beauty speaking of another celebrity line rare beauty which you guys know is selena gomez uh, has a new perfect strokes universal volumizing mascara launching on 8 30 created with every lash type in mind it volumizes lifts curls and lengthens i'm assuming that is it on her eye right there i don't think i've had any misses from Rare Beauty. Y'all know I did the first video when it first launched trying everything they came out with and they had a couple other launches since then. I don't remember anything being like a flat out no I did not like this. 
but I'm also not like a I'm gonna run out and go buy mascara ish type person so I'm intrigued on this one just because I like the other things that have come out from the brand but I buy it though I probably have to see like other people you know like rate like how people were raving about the Pat McGrath mascara which points were made on that one like if I see that maybe then I'll go pick it up I don't know but I'm intrigued <sighs> okay uh coming soon a Too Faced We'll be launching their new cinnamon swirl eyeshadow palette and melted matte in cinnamon bun to kick off their holiday launches. One thing Too Faced is going to do is give you the same palette over and over and over again and just give you a different cute packaging on the outside because you could tell me this was a chocolate palette, you could tell me this was some version of the peach, don't they have a peach collection something? You could tell me it was a, 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 a gingerbread, you could tell me it was any of those and I would believe you, okay? So then you know what? No. Okay, available now, Milk Makeup launched their new Sunshine Under Eye Brightening Light Coverage Concealer in seven, wait, these are all the shades? Seven adaptable shades. No. First of all, I usually don't like concealer pens that, like that to begin with. Those are all the shades. No, I'm just, I'm not. This, this is why no one's talking about y'all at the moment. It is why no one's talking about makeup right now, because anyway. um. Coming soon, Kayali is launching their new invite only Amber 23 fragrance on 824. I am behind, okay? Because y'all already know, yes, I am going to buy this, but it's been out and I still haven't purchased it yet. I've just had a lot going on over the last week. But yeah, I'll be buying this. I don't even know what the what the notes are. A divinely sensual, decadent, and enticing fragrance with an addictive allure. Fragrance notes, black cherry, honey. Uh, what was I saying? Black cherry, honey, tobacco, chocolate hazel. Okay, um, yeah, I didn't actually care what the notes were going to be. I was going to buy it because it was Kayali and none of the other ones have steered me wrong so far. So will I be buying this? Yes, I will. Again, from ColourPop, their new Sonic Bloom collection is available at Ulta. Sonic Bloom collection includes the Sonic Bloom eyeshadow palette, Fresh Kiss glossy lip stain in six shades, Color sticks in four shades and cheat do in four shades. The only thing that is drawing my attention here are these Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains in six shades. The colors are giving very much so fall. And I, I like that, I'm a sucker for packaging. I like the packaging of this. That is the only thing that has my attention. Everything else, no. Um, the lip stains are $8. I don't know y'all. Y'all let me know if you want like a little, you know, lip swatching video or something because I like them and they're gloss. So I'm not really in the mood for mattes right now, but they're like colored glosses. Let me know if y'all want to see what those look like because I'm intrigued. I might, I might have to go ahead and copy. It's been a minute since I've made a ColourPop purchase, but that, that might have to be it. Ooh, talk about a brand I have not heard from in a minute. Um, another look at the new Real Techniques collaboration with Victoria Lynn for their limited edition Electric Love collection featuring ultra playful premium, ooh, 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 premium quality tools to create bold looks. Um, so it's, it's a brush, it's a tool collection because I see sponges as well. Um, I haven't used Real Techniques brushes in a minute. It's very cute. I don't, who, I don't know who Victoria Lynn is. I'm assuming it's an influencer or something like that. Um, and I do know they make good products. Would I pick any of this up though? I probably wouldn't, but it is very cute. And if you are, you know, looking for brushes, stuff like that, again, Real Techniques makes very affordable brushes um, that, you know, you can rely on. So if you want to pick them up, go ahead and give it a try. But, oh, and they've got, They've got sponges for different things. They've got a complexion blender, a finishing blender probably for powder, and then a perfecting blender probably, um, you know, more so like a blending. That, you know, that, that I'm intrigued by. I might, I might pick that up to see what the sponges are giving. Okay, see, so this is one of the things I actually did hear people talking about in the last few days, but that's because they were dragging it. So first look, Anastasia Beverly Hills new ABH Magic Touch Concealer, launching in 25 shades on 823 on their website. This concealer has a creamy formula that corrects, brightens, blurs, and conceals while leaving a natural soft focus finish. Now, of course, people were, uh, were dragging this because of the shade range. And I feel like we had this conversation about ABH a while ago, and that could be um you know a topic that you need to broaden to some more brands within the makeup community but a lot of brands are going back to having that core audience 
who isn't going to do all of that, you know, like canceling, like boycott this because of, um, because of shade ranges, because the owner said this, the owner said that, which is usually people who shop more in person, you know, people who will go down, you know, Target and go through the makeup line and just see what's new around. People who are used to, you know, like going to the counter at the mall, like the Estee Lauder counter, who are used to, you know, shopping in Mac, stuff like that. Those type of people usually aren't online as much. Um, usually not as involved with the community and they know they don't really care about stuff like that. As long as they find their shade in person, they don't really care. And I've noticed a lot of brands are going back. Cause you remember how last year, like all these brands were like, yay, inclusivity. We love smaller creators. We love black creators. You know, they all realize like black creators exist. We're gonna do so much better for black creators and with our shade ranges and you know, with the teams that we have in corporate stuff like that to like here we are a year later and now they're they're back to giving us you know seven shade range concealer um what the 25 that this is like they're back to that because you know at the, the time that we're in right now especially with covid uh beauty brands took like a, a loss last year especially ones that have you know physical stores and stuff like that so it was like you know how do we get back to just that quick buck of people who don't really care about all that? That's who you make your audience again. You, you start making stuff for that audience and you'll notice when you're going towards that audience, you're not going to see as much colorful palettes and you know, rainbow highlighter and stuff like that because the people who are buying that do not wear makeup like that, okay? They wear maybe one eyeshadow color, maybe. Um, they love them some blush a uh, concealer foundation call it a day so i'm noticing that with the launches that are coming in that makeup brands are going back to those makeup wares being their main audience okay now for a brand doing like the complete opposite this is a shop violet voss and care bears one thing these makeup brands are also going to do nowadays just collab with anybody care bears hello kitty disney cartoon network celebrities um, this is an eyeshadow palette and mini eyeshadow palettes collaboration. Very on brand though, if you're looking at this and you had to think, does this look like Care Bears? Yes, it absolutely does. Packaging is adorable. Um, the actual palettes color stories, the mini one is giving very much so like within the palette itself, what are you supposed to do with that? Um, the larger one, I like a little bit more. If I was gonna get one, it'd be the larger one. It's, it is very cute. But am I going to pick this up? I'm probably not. The larger eyeshadow palette retails for $36 and the mini one is $18. Available now, Benefit Cosmetics launched their new Palmade Waterproof Brow Pomod and you can get it with a their dual ended angled eyebrow brush as part of a value set making it free. This is new? Doesn't Benefit already have, or didn't they, or did they relaunch? No, I'm not sure. Didn't they already? Have, no, no. Maybe it was one. I think the packaging might have been different. So I guess maybe what makes it different is it being waterproof. I guess I don't know. Now, Benefit, you know, like everything else, Benefit comes out with. I don't know about that. But their eye, their eyebrow products, they usually did what they have to do, especially the brow pencil. They did what they had to do. So if you were looking for a brow product to check out. I mean, but this one's gonna give you like more of a uh, more structured brow. If you want more of like the, you know, just like fill in lightly type thing, go with the brow pencils for the benefit. But if you like that, you know, more like, you don't see my brows, okay? On fleek, then um, definitely check this one out. What I, y'all know, again, mine are microbladed on, so like I don't really care about brow products. Like I just use whatever's around. But um, when I did use at least the one that they had before, I liked it. Okay, available now, Huda Beauty's new Wild Obsession eyeshadow palettes are here. So um, it's just like the little mini quads that she's come out, I guess, in new color stories. The wild, the greenish blue one, the, the pinkish purple reddish one. I'm intrigued. The other two are a little too cool for me. I don't really like cool eyeshadow, or well, at least in the pans it's giving. I don't know how that would look on the eye, but those two, the colorful ones, I'm intrigued. I have two mini eyeshadow palettes from Huda. I like them. I like them more than her actual like palette palette type things. And you know, like nowadays, I, I like me like smaller eyeshadow palettes. You know, 
I ain't got too many options, so like I don't have to do that much. I don't have to think that much about what I'm doing. Just put it on and go type thing. Easy to travel. I mean, I don't know where everyone's traveling to right now, but easy to move around with and all that stuff. So if I was gonna pick one up, it would be one of those two. Y'all know I like green, so probably, probably that one. Ooh, will we? I don't know. I might end up like throwing it in a cart during like a Sephora sale or something like that. Okay, available now. Uh, Pat McGrath's new Mothership. What is that? Nine? Is that the number? Yeah, I think. Uh, anyway, um, Hutopian Dream Artistry Palette and Intensify Eyes Artistry Wand are here. Um, it's just, you know, another Pat palette. I did actually see this, you know, when people were talking about it launching. It's not really doing much for me because it, it looks like colors I already, I have, no, I still have, I decluttered the Mothership 5 palette, right? Yeah, I think I decluttered that one, but I kept the, the larger one that she launched last year, the like $78. It had a whole lot more pans and I feel like every color that's in this palette I already have in that one so I was like why would I buy and this is 125 <laughs> so if I feel like I already have all these colors in a palette that I bought for $78 why would I buy the same thing for 125 I mean of course it's pat so it's going to look pretty um I'm sure the colors will work how the other colors work but will I be picking this up no I won't and the last thing I have here Kylie Jenner's birthday collection has launched yes available now the 24k birthday collection is now on their website collection includes pressed powder palettes lip shine anything else I think that's a 24 like highlighter okay so when they said they were um you know what anyway um no no I'm not going to pick this up um, I feel like there's mixed opinions on her eyeshadow palette quality. Um, I was over her lip products years ago and I don't wear highlighter much anymore. So there's not really much for me in this collection. So that was the last thing I had to talk about. Y'all, it was giving very stale this time around. And like I was saying with the, uh, like the ABH and how those brands are moving type thing, that's just, that just seems to be where brands are right now. They're launching products, very, you know, beginner friendly, very neutral, very just simplistic type thing because they're at a point where their audiences now are, you know, the younger crowd, you know, TikTok, that pop in place right now the younger crowd who is getting into makeup learning about it and that crowd that it that likes simplicity sim simplicity um that crowd that you know especially with mask and stuff like that like they're not going to be doing all of that on the face you know very uh there's this one product and you can use it in multiple ways instead of needing eight different products on your face like that is where brands are moving towards as far as makeup goes so for everyone else who you know they've been in makeup for years they already have these sephora store size collections it's going to feel very boring because you're just like okay what am i supposed to do with that um but at this point it's just kind of like a, you just go with products that you see and like at the moment and just just pick it up don't really be looking for you know the most out of the box type things right now because that's just not what brands are doing and again with living through a whole pandemic it's very much so like what do we know people are going to need people are going to buy so going out on that ledge of you know out of the box like never before see you don't really know how that's going to work for you and then like look at becca with their uh no no you know what I'm talking about? The No Hue Foundation, the foundation that had the No Pigment Foundation. You know, you go out of the box like that and we see how that ended up, right? So brands are very much so playing it safe right now, sticking to what they know and sticking to an audience who like they can always rely on. Like that audience is always going to be there because you keep it simple, that type of thing. Um, so with that being said, I'm intrigued to see where the holiday season is going to go this year because that is usually the time of the year where you know you're getting like the most like, 
everyone's talking because you know you can buy sets you can buy this for people for holiday gifts and stuff like that so we'll see you know that'll really tell you like if it's really dead dead like people are saying the makeup community is dead we'll see but those are my thoughts on the products that i see for this month coming out let me know in the comments down below like what you think what you've picked up if there's anything i didn't talk about in this video that you think i should pick up you want to see a video on let me know all of that down below um thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one bye